Okay, I will record this video. And this is a very, very good video. It's a very, very important video. Uh, I am going to record. And I am going to dedicate this video to the Chinese Communist Party more than anybody else. Because I don't really know, next to the British Royals, Washington DC White House, all <coughs> these beautiful people that were so excited about the psychiatry, uh, even throwing me inside of the psychiatric hospital in 2013, psychiatric hospital in Indianapolis in 2013, <sighs> blame it all on their Eastern European partners, such as Russia, Belarus, Serbia, through tiny Slovenia, uh, with a sole idea was to hide what I already demonstrated Prince Harry referred to as now I am sure that you have seen the video about his Invictus Games talk and you can see one here with the Queen. You told us to bring it at the Invictus Games. Careful what you wish for. Boom. Oh, really? Please. Boom. Yeah. And I titled here this post as somebody from Britain that wanted through the systematic kidney failure uh, to bring about on a surface in my body everything British and Americans have accomplished together with uh, foremost through the Slovenian government, Slovenian parliament beginning in 1995 with the use of butcheries also distributing me systematic destruction of the body through a regular what was under MK Ultra poisoning of the blood, kidneys. Uh, they would poison body and they would rehearse time and again, time and again to develop permanent, uh, I should say, chronic injuries to my body. Uh, and that supposedly would be a boom to what, in this in 2011, Prince Harry was the one referred to it. So, but in 2013, since in 2011, during MK Ultra, dialysis procedure became a regular. I was thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, were forced to consume psychiatric drugs, for which later, and that's exactly why I was thrown inside of the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje so that they could hide, they could omit something that started 18 years earlier. And I'm going to refer to that again as a butcheries. It was not a human experimentation. The human experimentation have a known outcome. And that was a complete systematic failure of the body through the cancer, thrombosis issues, uh, wound in a center, foot, left foot, what they also refer to as aneurysm issues that would pertain and to a heart area and also to brain. Uh, something to what uh, Donald Trump then graciously referred to as, as it became evident that my body is totally falling apart due to even greater and irreversible damage caused to one through the psychiatric pills. This is also the reason why I was thrown, in, thrown inside of the psychiatry hospital to even intensify, I was prescribed this, if you like, to call these medications to cause even greater, deeper damage. And it's what President Donald Trump later referred to me as, to me and my face during MKUltra is, psychiatry have done that to you. 
He didn't explain into exactly what part of the body, organ, but it appears to me he targeted kidney issues. Kidneys, blood issues, bloodstream issues. Why have I stressed this to you? Well, before I'm going to get to the main topic of this video, it was important for me to stress the background of this British American cooperation with Vladimir Putin for the sake of what many people refer to as a new world order, new world order, which commenced through my case and it's what I think I was used as a pledge in 1995 you know like a common pledge and part of that pledge unfortunately I must have to say oh true I still deem for this part to be the most neutral in all this and it was someone who did not crave for worse, somebody who wanted to have a stability and a recognized future, and it was a China. China, whom, however, Serbs determined would be a crucial partner that would play a main role in the future of the Balkan Wars against the nations which somehow managed to separate, even with great losses, however, did manage somehow to gain freedom from the greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. Uh, Milosevic, Karadzic, Mladic, um, now you have as a president of Serbia already for a very long time, who have even learned to speak Chinese, Chinese language, Alexander Vucic, uh, this is an apprentice of Vojislav Šešel. These are very, very famous war criminals, of many which ended their careers in a hawk, in a court for crimes against humanity. Uh, inside it, me, through the Slovenia, through the Milan Kucha, in a war against China. This was already something that uh, Slovenian side, Slovenian side acted on behalf of Serbia in Slovenia against me from the very beginning, from 1995. They would drive me to the Bosnia, they would drive me to the Serbia, they drove me there for beatings. Uh, they imported Serbian psychiatrists even to Slovenia from Serbia. They used a Serbian psychiatrists to take official orders so they could have somebody they could point the finger at for their mindless insane crimes against me beginning 1995. Talking about this very psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polje. Talking about these politicians here that you see, these are the politicians who take the orders from the Serbia, straight from the Serbia. I was subjected to most severe torture and heavily encouraged to hate China, uh, hate communism. These are the people who presented themselves as uh, communists uh, from Yugoslavia and successfully so managed to present through the torture, through the beatings, thanks to Luisa Petrle, thanks to Janet Jansha, thanks to Dmitry Rupel, thanks to uh, all these so-called Slovenian independence politicians, uh, managed to present me like ultimate evil, Nazi even, to China. 
because it's how could it be possibly any different, right? Since this were the so-called communists, even they had nothing to do with the communism. These people have as much as with the communism as Adolf Hitler had with the communism. Greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia ran war against, simultaneously against four different nationalities in a so-called federation, Yugoslav Federation. They committed themselves to ethnic extermination, genocide of Albanian population in Kosovo, predominantly Albanian, Kosovo population. They committed themselves to ethnic extermination process, genocide, cleansing against the Bosnian people in Bosnia and Herzegovina. They committed themselves to ethnic cleansing, genocide, extermination against Croatian people in Croatia. And they tried to deliver a million Serbs meeting, create a meeting in the center of Ljubljana, that is in Slovenia, but it would be like a million Serbs that would come on a picnic. They call that of the truth, demonstration. They would present to the world of that they would prove the truth. The problem with this is that in Slovenia there are only two million people. So if you were to host a million Serbs here, uh, I doubt uh, that those tanks would ever leave from Slovenia. The Serbian tanks, which also simultaneously to three other nations commenced war also against Slovenia in 1991, bombarded streets, bombarded uh, traffic uh, with the fighter jets, ran out on the street with the tanks, but the war ended within 14 days. People stopped madness, and Serbia was far too far from Slovenia with Bosnia and Croatia in between, where war also broke out, and they had to stop this massacre also in Slovenia. So these are the circumstances that are very important for me, for the Chinese Communist Party to understand that these people had absolutely nothing to do with the communism. And absolutely everything with what you see Vladimir Putin is doing today in Ukraine, where Ukrainian people are exterminated 24-7 on every step of the way, whenever that only the circumstances grant the possibility of such things. Now, when we have cleared this out of the way, we're going to descend down a little bit. And as I did scroll down a little bit, I did came across Tuesday, April the 11th of 2023, it was about six days ago, when I posted a post with a video. That's a very good video. Um, love this video. Very, very proud about this video because I was I managed to pull all the information which involved. Uh, this is what I was promised is going to be left out of me. Yeah, it's going to be not, the not even, to remind me. Not even that. Uh, and this is a very, very important video for me, which which I am addressing the Communist Chinese Party, uh, because it's a forensic video, on top of all other videos. It's a conclusion that I'm going to bring you about for you to understand the so-called communists, the people who presented themselves as a communists to you in 1995 and uh, basically uh, commenced procedure which led into the tragedy uh, of personnel and a Chinese embassy in Belgrade, in Serbia, in 1999. Now, these are the people that I want you to forensically understand the psych, uh, the real, uh, how the brain of these people truly, truly, truly uh, functions.
uh, it could be that I have not hit the proper spot here. For me, it's very important for me to demonstrate to you speed sign 50. That's the video. I, I am really, really referring to, and I, I'm pretty damn sure that this was, uh, in fact, this was the video I was searching for. Because this is, on that video, uh, a video recorded this sign. I still think this is the one right here. No. I would say that this is the one. Yes, I, I'm pretty sure that this is the video right here. This is just, I couldn't find that sign on the video so that I could demonstrate to you one. A very, very important video for me from the aspect that I was promised in 2011, listen, in 2011, <laughs> just as I mentioned in this video with a check mark, spine broken, um, cardiovascular problems, uh, check mark, spine broken, check mark. Um, yeah, but this is this right here where we get to the sign. Yeah, this is the sign right here. This is the sign 50 right there. Um, kidney destroyed, a problem in a center, cancer, dots, uh, thrombosis in the left, uh, center of the left foot, cancer in a left arm area, uh, check mark, check mark, check mark, and it's what I was taught. This is what we workers, you know, because we're going to say, they told me, how old are you? They asked me, how old are you? And back then I was, I don't know, 38. And uh, they, they told me, well, do you see the sign? Do you see the sign right there? It says, what it says on the sign? It says, what, 50? Huh? It says 50, okay. At age 50, workers are suffering. Yeah, this is, this is, this is a psychology a criminal forensic psychology I have to use for you to understand what went on. Yeah, uh, at age 50, workers have cancer. Uh, other workers have spine problems. Other workers have um, kidney failure. Uh, then it's other workers that have. Um, this is the sign that they move back and forth over the course of the years, God knows on how many times, yeah? Other workers are suffering, I don't know, from blood clots. Other workers are suffering from, um, I don't know, heart valve replacement necessary, this, that, that. Uh, and what do you see over there, the sign 50, you know, slow, the slow, that's what Prince Charles later used throughout the Britain. He was really proud about this stuff. Uh, it's just slow, so yeah, yeah. You're going to have all this. Hey, you understand? You understand? You're not working. You're this, you're that. You know, uh, basically, walking all over my basic rights to employment, basically kicking me from one continent to the other beginning the 1995, working now less than four a cent per hour, using my body basically to chop one, use me for a human butchery on open to encourage violence throughout the world, basically bloodshed. That's what I need you, Chinese Communist Party, to understand, and it's all you need to understand about Slovenia and Serbia about your Serbian partner. You understand? That's all the fuck I need you to understand about the Serbia. Next to the Vucic, Serbian president, speaking Chinese language he learned, that's what I need you to understand about the Serbia. If you see yourself in a butchery like this as a communist party, and I wouldn't be doing this video if I would believe that you do, 
I'm doing this video because I know for sure that you are not and you never were part of any of this stuff. And it's also for the world to see the hatred that Slovenian side, half on behalf of Greater Serbia, half on behalf of Russia, of Belarus, instilled in me so that I would go against the workers' rights, so that I would hate workers' rights, so that I would go against the communists, so that I would go and burn, basically, in nothing other than hatred, approximate myself as much as possible to those that burned world eight years ago. That's basically what I need you to understand. I'm just going to add to this video what pertains to you. This individual right here, did you see Milosevic? Slobodan Milosevic. Alexander Vucic. Vojislav Šešelj, Karadžić, you know, you see these pictures here, these are very, very bad pictures for the, today, what is known as a Serbian president still. These are the pictures that you can say that there is no difference between. Hitler and an individual that you see right there. This is basically, this is the identical, identical stuff that you see right there. I'm asking you to not, don't even try to look for something that would depict you in the public, in the eyes of the world, is with seeing yourself in this monsters over here did you see trust me i'm not the person that wanted death of your embassy stuff in a 99 nato bombing of belgrade but the stuff these people pushed down my throat the stuff these people have done to me in the front lines whenever hijacked from Slovenia to Serbia, whenever hijacked from Slovenia to Croatia, whenever hijacked from Slovenia to Bosnia, in a Serbian ditches on the front lines, where the Serbs use me to boost a hatred. You should keep in mind that you have dealt with the most mentally ill, mentally deranged people, serial killers, murderers that the world have ever seen and known in the history of the world. People far worse than Adolf Hitler, if that is even possible, but it is. Next to what I stated to you, I will go straight. To this individual here, her name is Polona Rus. This is the physician psychiatrist whom I was brought at the psychiatric hospital in Ljubljana, Polje in 2013, when Slovenian government filed, using my family against me, domestic charges, lies, based on which I was forcefully hospitalized. Are you, I'm sure you understand the last name, Rus. I'm sure you understand that. Well, you understand the forensic understanding. Criminologists want to understand the background, the forensic understanding of the crime itself, Slovenian state committed against me on behalf of Russia and Serbia, boost the hatred against me as much as possible. Also concerned, unfortunately, also concerned you, the Chinese, beginning with the Milan Kuchan That's why this video is very, very important to me. Um, 
for you to understand Milan Kuchan very well, for me to understand, for you to understand Alexander Vucic very well, that you understand this. The psychiatrists they used, many were from Serbia, involved in crime against me right here in Slovenia already in 1995 such as Zoran Muja, half Serb, half Slovenian. And what later followed against me on behalf of this individual is just, uh, or I should say this two individual and many others, this is just uh, totally, totally incredible. Uh, next to the stuff that I have stated, and uh, this girl here, this psychiatrist, Slovenian psychiatrist, Rus. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I don't have nothing against the Russians. Uh, but this is how the politic of nor against the Serbs. Trust me, to me, uh, I don't care about who you are, where you are from, but I'm going to say to you, yes, I care for my safety. That I do care. Uh, because of this issues that I experienced throughout my life, and I'm not the only one, as this became evident, uh, I have to warn you that beginning in 1995, the beginning in 1995, Talking to you, the Chinese Communist Party. Beginning the 1995. Because you need to understand bombardment of 1999, the NATO bombardment of 1999 of the battery where your Chinese embassy was. See this? And it's what Serbian President Aleksandar Vucic became totally excited about lately especially and started to lambast this bombing of 1999. The Chinese embassy took, however, for it, zero personal responsibility. Beginning the 1995, from my point of view, from my end, what I would say, to respond to Alexander Vucic, who responsible for this bombing of embassy. The bombing of embassy was caused by Alexander Vucic, it was caused by Slobodan Milosevic, it was caused by the Serbian leadership of 1999, Serbian leadership of 1995. This is how. Here is a university psychiatric clinic. And this clinic is along the Chengdu. Chengdu is Katsesta. But really, it's along the Cesta road, therefore, known as a Studenets, and it's along the road known as Potka Izviru. And we have on the other hand, on the other side, we have Zaloška Cesta, Zaloška Road, therefore. And then you have a highway that goes right next to it. It's called E57. Yes, this individual whom Communist Chinese Party know all too good and was meeting with him beginning the 1995 inside of this very house inside of my room beginning the 1995 when negotiations between the west and east began to take place was the one who with the slovenian psychiatrist who tortured as if you would go to in so anyway say igre brzmeja Sir, games without the limits, butcheries without the limits, have had renamed 
this psychiatric facility to honor Serbian Chetnik State Serbia with more hatred against me, or I should say to turn me as much as possible against China, uh, he literally went on to rename the address of the psychiatric hospital to official address of Chengduiska Ch um, Chengduiska Cesta 45 Now China wants you dead China wants you dead brought inside of the psychiatric facility area beaten up from one home to the other throughout the entire Ljubljana by the year already before one reached 1999 in me there was so much hatred against the China because it was the China wants you dead Oh, for you to understand the forensic psychology of the Serbian president Milosevic and Vuc Vucic, Alexander Vucic. You see this guy? I will dedicate this video to the Chinese Communist Party to understand who demanded the name of the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje, which was involved in genocide in a butchery against me beginning 1995, from whatever the name was before, into Cheng Duiska Cesta 45. You like to hate? You like serial killers, murderers on a mass scale like Adolf Hitler? Well, the Serbia is just the right place for you to visit. But don't you worry. In Slovenia, we have a quite a few people like this. They used to call themselves a communists of the Federative Republic of Yugoslavia. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. The name was changed. The address of the psychiatric hospital was changed, I think, probably in 1997 because the Serbia wanted me to hate China as much as possible to breed nothing other than hatred against China. That was, is what the Serbian side wanted. They wanted the war. They wanted the massacre which they accomplish on the Balkans with the full support of the China. And they want the conflict against me and the Chinese state to last as long as possible, even all the way to Ukraine and beyond, for as long as the time is ticking. Thank you very much for watching this video, for you to understand from the forensic point of view the mind, the psych of the people laughing right there in front of you that you see. Till next time.